I think uh, everyone seems to be pretty interested in meeting RJ, so yeah, I think he's in a pretty good mood, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Easy. She's always super, super docile. Whoa! Oh! Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. And we have an amazingly crazy day, starting with my guy, Argmus Prime here. Oh my gosh, he is a monster for sure. Hey, no, no, don't, don't, don't eat the lock, don't eat the lock, buddy. Come on. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and start the day off by feeding some monitors, but then we have a birthday party. Well, Argus! oh my gosh. Oh, come here, Argus. come here. Back in your cage, back in your cage, back in your cage, back in your cage. <laughs> then we have a birthday party. We have a tour, we have another birthday party, and then we're open for the Reptarium. Come on, Argus. over here. Inside, inside, there you go, buddy. Argus is absolutely high energy, and it's a great way to start the day. It's like my cup of coffee. Next up is my guy, Elvis. What's going on, Elvis? You are definitely a lot easier to feed than Argus for sure. There you go, buddy, whoop, whoop, whoop. There you go, there you go, buddy. And I'm giving him a couple bigger rats today because I want to get a little bit of beef. I always vary things up. I go from small rodents to larger rodents to meat to chicken to turkey to all kinds of different stuff. Even fish from time to time. Not to mention we know he loves eggs. But look at he makes quick work of that rat. That is for sure. We're going to give him a few of them. Another one, bud? There you go. There you go, buddy. That's the way to go. Whoop. You almost dropped it, buddy. There you go. <laughs> I mean, what an absolutely perfect predator right here. I mean, it just is such a good eater. It's just built to eat and eat and eat. He is truly an amazing animal. And again, like I said, we have a crazy day. We have like a two and a half hour birthday party that we have to do. Then we have a hour tour, then another hour and a half birthday party before the Reptarium opens. But I want to get my day started by feeding some of these monitors and Taz the Tegu. One last wrap for you, buddy. One last wrap. There you go, bud. There you go. Good job, buddy. Way to go. There you go. Oh. Down the hatch. Now that should be a really nice meal for Elvis. I think he's gonna wanna get on that hot spot for a while and kinda relax. Good job, Elvis. I really don't wanna have to get Abasuku down, so I'm literally just gonna throw this rat right up by Abasuku. Here you go, bud. There you go, Abba Way to go. Again, I didn't want her to have to come all the way down because sometimes she'll literally jump off of that cliff. So I wanted to get it up there and feed her. Not to mention, with her being further away, that means she doesn't jump out of the cage at me. The last one we're gonna feed before we get started with our birthday party is Tazzy here. And he looks like he's hungry. Like I had mentioned before, he's definitely been running around and kinda going crazy this last week or so. So look at him, he takes it, he just runs right back into the back to go ahead and eat it. What a silly little monkey this dude is, I tell you what. But I'm gonna feed him a handful of rats today. I think he'll be really happy. You a good boy? Oh my gosh, he is really going it down. Oh my gosh. Tazzy, what's up buddy? <laughs> Again, he's just kind of changing his personality a little bit. I think we're going to have to really work on him a lot to keep him super, super docile. Don't get me wrong, he's really, really tame, but he's really more energetic than he's ever been before. So I think that he's kind of reaching maturity and maybe even changing sometimes, because sometimes animals can actually reach maturity and then all of a sudden kind of change their personality. So we're going to have to work on Taz a tremendous amount to make sure that he's super, super tame. And one way of doing this is keeping him really well fed. So these handful of rats are going to be something that he's going to be so happy with. There you go, buddy. There you go. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. There you go. All right. So that's going to be a really good meal for Tazzy. What a dainty eater. I think it's so funny how they all eat different. Argus Prime's out of its mind. Elvis is actually pretty good. And then Tazzy is just such a dainty little eater. So amazing. So all right, let's get ready and get this first party going. So like I mentioned, we actually have a two and a half hour birthday party where basically about a half an hour, everyone's just going to look around. Then we're going to give a little presentation that we teach people about the animals. Then they're going to have gifts and party and all that type of stuff. And then again, we're going to go around and take some pictures because it's two 
two and a half hours. It's the longest party that we actually do here at the Reptarium. So uh, we have a lot of time. It's gonna be really fun. And everyone is just starting to set up. And look at how absolutely cute this is. Oh my God, that's adorable. And you guys know that I love to show off the cakes. That is an amazing cake right there. Uh, that, that's one of the better ones for sure. Wow, that's awesome. The presentation went really well. It was so cute. The birthday boy is just turning three years old and absolutely adorable. Now everyone's just getting a chance to meet Bella a little bit. There we go, bud. Hello, Bella. Kids enjoying some tortoise feeding. <laughs> it's absolutely adorable. Wrapping up the first birthday party of the day, we had a great time. It was so cool. We even took Daisy out and took pictures with her. Oh my God, what a great time. So now we have a quick tour that we have to do in another hour and a half birthday party before we open for the Reptarium. Let's go check on BHB. Just checking down here for some breeding. That was a really good breeding right there. That's a pastel enchi banana. Right to a cinna winner, which is basically a cinnamon pin walnut. Another lock there from a pastel kingpin bread just to a nice big beautiful pastel girl Just a couple more lockups to be honest with you, but I was pretty excited about this one This is actually a pastel vanilla bamboo woma ball python And it's the first time he's actually locked up with a pinstripe female that is just a beautiful beautiful snake So I can't wait to see what comes out of that breeding and like I've mentioned before That's actually a pastel ivory just bred to a yellow belly We're not only trying to produce like really cool awesome incredible morphs But like I've mentioned I want to just produce really beautiful animals that people will love to have as a cool pet and just give it a lifetime of love and white snakes are absolutely incredible so that should produce us some more ivories pastel ivories pastel yellow bellies and even yellow bellies this is a pretty exciting one right here. This is actually a pastel pie that is bred to a mahogany that is heifer pie. So I could potentially make mahogany pies and then when you breed those back you can get the suma pies which are the black and white piebald ball pythons. Oh, doggy. That is actually an Enchi pinstripe banana that's bred to a GHI Mojave girl. I don't exactly know what'll come from that clutch, but it's gonna be awesome anyways. And when I say I don't know what'll come from that, I absolutely know exactly what'll come from it. What I'm saying is that it might be really cool looking animals. Obviously, you've got pastel, you've got pinstripes, you've got bananas, you've got Mojaves, and you've got GHI. The Mojave GHI is actually a Lelic animal, so everything is gonna be either Mojave or it's gonna be GHI, and then you could have combinations of pastel, pinstripe, or banana so I do know what's coming from it I just don't know what it's gonna look like when they hatch and I want to just stop by BHB and just check things really quick before I do this next tour these tours are always a lot of fun we'll check back on the rest of BHB later in the vlog and my tour showed up thank you guys so much for coming you drove a couple hours to get here so uh, we are gonna see some cool stuff we're gonna start with salt and pepper of course my girl salt <laughs> is out. isn't she gorgeous she though? Is so she is cool. so pretty. Gosh, she's so amazing and it's cool she's really getting good about eating now like literally this morning I would drop pellets in and she ate like eight or ten of them right after so we're clicker training her so she's getting really good she, and of course we have pepper out and yeah you can tell just the size difference between salt and pepper now pepper is just exploding but the truth is salt is gaining the exact same amount of weight that pepper did at the same size so I have a feeling in six or seven weeks salt will be just as big as pepper is now but pepper will be even bigger of course everyone wants to see Joker and just feel how a scale of snake feels so he's, what do you think he's so oh, pretty he's isn't it pretty it yeah. feels crazy it's like a suede like yeah, it's, it's almost like yeah like a suede that's it's crazy one. and it's crazy because people always Whoa. describe it different yeah. suede a peach you know sometimes people say like a skin but it's all right it, and I think suede is actually a pretty good description to be like honest suede. with you you know all the usual suspects right we got sunrise out and you said you like it uh, as a matter of fact I'm gonna probably charge her for a snake massage at the end of the <laughs> day. it's funny to say but honestly I've thought about that because for you guys that don't know it there are places like in New York and Japan that literally like you can go and get a snake massage where they put a bunch of snakes on you and I've always thought like why not do one right by the rep term I think it might work what do you guys think let me know in the comments Speedy's getting a lot of attention today he's a great great animal I love this though dude you're so cute, Stevie. Tour number two is in the books. I tell you what, I either just think that everyone in the world is amazing or I'm getting so lucky because again, I don't think I've had a bad person come for a tour or a birthday party. I hope I'm not jinxing myself because we have an hour and a half birthday party about to start the next 10 minutes. Last birthday party is on the way. We have Elvis out here just kind of hanging out. What do you think of Elvis? Cool, right? Yeah. He's awesome. Everyone's over here, obviously, paying some attention to Bella over here. <laughs> We got Belle out over here getting some attention. Uh, definitely having a good time. Okay, she came in and she was really scared. She's really scared. She's holding a snake. Oh my God, you come such a long way. You're so awesome. Good job, Kara. All right. 
Look at her go. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> Ending things off with Daisy out. Oh my gosh, she's so amazing. Literally, what do you think? I can do. It's awesome, huh? Yeah. <laughs> she is definitely a gentle giant. But again, we always keep an eye on things, the actions, the way she's moving. If she gives us any inclination that she might be in a bad mood or do somewhere, we're always keeping an eye on her. But with Daisy, she's always super, super docile. Yes. Birthday party's done, tour's done, and we have like three minutes before we have to open up for the Reptarium for the night. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. This was an absolutely crazy day. Thanks to Lori. Thanks to me. <laughs> Lori does all the booking. She definitely kept oh, us booked. No, no, no. <laughs> Staff overbooked this day. <laughs> all right, it's, not, it's not overbooked. I enjoyed it. It was absolutely incredible. But we're going to have a good night here at the Reptarium. We are ready. Bruce, you ready? Let's do this. Jessica, ready? Lori is not ready. And Andrea, you're ready. ready. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's get it going. Hey guys, <laughs> finally, come on in. Come on in. How are you? It's so good, good to see you. Thank Hi. you again. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Hey, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, bud. Welcome, welcome. Hi, how are you? Hey, what's going Love on? Love the vlog. Oh my God, thank you hey, so nice much. To meet hey, you, hey, it's awesome. Thank you. Come on in. We'll have <laughs> so a great nice time, guys. You. As always, the Reptarium is popping off tonight. It's absolutely incredible. Birthday boy over here. You got Helen. That is awesome. Well, happy birthday, bud. I really Thanks. appreciate you coming to visit us. Got Perdita out here. You loving Perdita? Isn't she beautiful? Got some gator feeding going on. It's awesome to feed gators. Yeah. 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 Having some fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Casper's got though. quite a little crowd of admirers. Isn't he absolutely gorgeous? Yes. You can see kids loving Perdita. You know, and I've had a couple people recently, like I said, like, aren't you afraid of, like, letting kids hold the snakes and stuff yes. like that? Number one, we not only have animals that are bulletproof as far as being handled because they get handled every single day, but we also are always keeping a close eye on the animal's actions. We haven't had a bite yet from anything here, and I've been doing this for 20-something years when it comes to handling snakes with people, so listen, we're always keeping an eye on this, and there's no doubt that we are really hawkeye to make sure no one ever gets hurt. I think uh, everyone seems to be pretty interested in Sam meeting RJ, so yeah, I think he's in a pretty good mood, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I can't believe I'm going to oh God. <laughs> I know, right? And then I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do to keep oh. him calm, okay? okay? I just have to keep him under control. Baby, you're right. Okay. Look at this teeth sticking Thank you so out. much. Look at this teeth sticking out. One of my absolutely favorite times when I can bring RJ out and let people hold him. He's such an amazing animal, but again, we're always keeping close eye on all his actions. As soon as his eyes start to do anything different, I'm all over it. You can tell before he moves at all, I can completely read his body language. He is completely tame right now. You're doing good, bud. You're doing really good. All right, we got the gator out. Look at you. How cute is that? We are winding down here at the Reptarium. It's been a really nice night again. The highlights of the night were people that came in that were a little afraid that held stuff as always. People that were super enthusiastic about stuff that came in and held stuff. Some return people came in, so I love that. that that's always awesome. Of course, sunrise is out over here, so definitely been an absolutely amazing night. But Lori, that was a pretty crazy day. <laughs> that was about as nuts as it gets, right? It was insane. It was awesome. <laughs> a long day. <laughs> it was so cool, though. I mean, but literally, uh, since early this morning, then we had birthday parties, tours, birthday parties, Reptarium. It was a pretty busy night at the it Reptarium, was. too, so uh, definitely starting to wrap up. Again, we closed in about about 10 minutes or so. I am bushed. I know you've got to be tired because you definitely did a lot of work today. So, <laughs> so oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready to go home and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I bet your puppies miss you. The dogs weren't here today, so I bet you they miss you. So that's the first thing I do. Spend some time with your pups. Okay. <laughs> and there it is, guys. Another day in the book. It was a insane day, a long day, a great day. Had a wonderful time. And I hope that you guys enjoyed every part of it. Let me know in the comments what you did like. Did you like the monitor feeding? Did you like the tours, the birthday party? Did you like things at BHB? Whatever the case may be. I wish you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. As always, your support means the world to me. And I truly love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash? that like button turn those post notifications on so you know when i upload a video which is every day seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning eastern standard time be kind to someone today and i promise i will see you guys tomorrow mm -hmm.